Hey, what's going on, guys? Eddie here on the Falibu channel, and today I was feeling a little bit creative. I was like, you know what? I want to do some more creative stuff in 2018. So as you can see, I got Virtual Studio Tilt Brush. I do a lot of cre uh, VR creative stuff, a little bit of V artistry. <laughs> So today I'm going to go ahead and uh, I felt like doing some sculpting. Uh, I use Masterpiece VR for sculpting in VR and it's pretty sweet. As a matter of fact, you know what? I wasn't even planning this, but yeah, here in my little Steam VR home, I've actually set up some of the sculptures that I've done in Masterpiece VR and I am not a sculptor. Uh, I'm not really even a 3D modeler. I do have a background in game design uh, and I do know how to, I have taken a Blender course or two and uh but i just i've never really done a whole lot of sculpting it's just been you know geometry modeling so uh but this stuff has always fascinated me and this is how you know you get lifelike characters and stuff like that so with that being said these are some things that i've actually made that was my first attempt this was my second attempt uh and it didn't come out too bad these were the blender renders i exported it from masterpiece vr into a, a format that Blender could open up and then I touched it up and highlighted it and rendered it from uh, from Blender. So that was another interesting thing I thought about this program. Okay, so without any further ado, let's go ahead and jump right in. Let's see if we can find it. Take a look at yeah, like blocks, thread studio. I do a, I do a t-shirt work and stuff like that. Uh, where is it? Strudel doodle, lots of design apps. I'm gonna have to go through here and find it. <laughs> Oh, there it is. Boom. Continue playing. Sweet. I just, I must not have seen it. Yeah, so this is Masterpiece VR. I'll be running it on an i5-4590 GTX 1066 gigabyte with an HTC Vive today. Oh, hey, how's it going, guys? Welcome, Crowstone, Phagewent, and Zizzy. Vific vivification that's awesome all right so this is my this is my uh vive sculpting app of choice right now uh it's the only sculpting app i have on vive hey how's it going man hey welcome domi ray how you doing that's my girl right there I'm running this as a test i don't normally stream this i used to but uh i've enhanced uh, a lot of the things that i do as far as streaming since i was making my first making vr uh, videos, which uh, making VR inside out is a little series I started putting together, uh, putting together on YouTube, showcasing a lot of the various VR design apps that I use, how I use them, and what I've been using them for as far as creating video game design apps. So I'm not really sure what I want to do today, but I know I like to do faces. So let me go ahead and just warm up with a warm up with a bust, right? <laughs> All right, so let's take a look at some of the options here for some of the new people who might be checking this video out later on. Uh, we got sculpting tools, we got brushing tools. This is new, the beta, this is guides. This is one of the reasons why I wanted to play around with Masterpiece VR today. I've been so inspired by some of the artwork I've seen <coughs> coming out of some of the other guys on uh, the VR creatives group. And uh, they've been doing a lot of hard surface modeling using these tools and guides and angle snaps and stuff like that. All right, so this is my mirror. This is actually a part of the last update as well. They made the mirror more visible. Let's bring this over here. Now, I'm not a professional with this uh, software, but I do enjoy it for fun. And uh, if I can make a little game with it for fun, then hey, that's, that's even better. All right, so I got my, my mirror set up there. Got grids, angle snaps, and guides. These point guides, line guides, and plane guides, I'm going to try to use all of them over the course of this video. As a matter of fact, I'm going to try to use all of these tools over the course of this video just as a brief overview. Really, this isn't a tutorial video. It's not, and don't, I'm not expecting to produce anything spectacular right now. It's kind of just an overview of some of the new updates and I really just want to play around in here. <laughs> so I figured, you know what, in case I do make something spectacular, I want to be able to remember how I did it. Because these things, everything you see here, like it's pretty much groundbreaking. Nobody's ever done it before. There were very few people have done it before. Don't get me wrong. There's a lot of guys out there way ahead of the game in the VR creatives group and so on and so forth. Uh, but as a, an industry, 3D modeling in VR is 
in its infancy. So this is where we're beginning. All right, so sculpt tools, brush tools, guides. Uh, we're not really going to worry about sharing right now, but there are some sharing options. Uh, there are some Master tutorial PCR. videos. We're not going to get into that right now, but that's a great video. <clears throat> Networking for online. You can do online multiplayer creating. It does have some limitations, but it's there. And then uh, the file settings, you know, new, save, load, reference, export, new file, save your current file, load a previous file, load in some reference images, and hey, export as OBX, FBX, STL. Uh, do you want to export everything in your model, just the brushes, just the sculptures? What do you want to do? You know, the quality of it and export it. Yeah, that's pretty Oh, and there's a contest. This, I didn't notice the little contest button. Do androids dream of electric reindeer? How will we celebrate the holiday season in the future as the separation between organic life technology and artificial life gets smaller and smaller? Take part in the Masterpiece VR Holiday Sculpting Contest for a chance to win some amazing VR prizes from AMD and Sketchfab. Oh, that's pretty sweet. I don't think I'm at the skill level required to win that, but it's amazing that the, that the people who make this software are running little community contests and events like that. All right, so I'm not a complete novice with this software. I've used it uh, about 20, 25, maybe 30 hours, but uh, the thing is that the tools are always being updated. So what I like to do is I like to start off with the brush tool, go to the pencil tool. Uh, what is it on? I guess it's on black. Maybe not. We'll start black here. Is that black? That's black, yeah. All right. So, uh, I don't know. I'm thinking about doing a bust. Oh, and I kind of like how this snaps to the mirror. That's sweet. All right. I, I don't know if you can tell right here, but the mirror is actually kind of snapping to the center of my headset when I get close enough. It has like a snapping. Feels very good. All right. So what I like to do is start off with Ace, because the thing is, is that I started 3D modeling on a computer. So what I normally do is I make orthographic drawings. And uh, what that means is I'll draw a model from the front and then I'll draw it from the side and then I'll take both of those as reference images into my 3D modeling software on my PC and then try to fill in the gaps, you know, fleshing it out into a three-dimensional object instead of two separate two-dimensional objects. Uh, so with that being said, what I like to do in here, and I don't know if it's a great technique, but what I like to do is I like to start out with a three-dimensional sketch. So... Uh, let's see, we're going to start with a bust. Let's just draw. And the thing is, it doesn't got to be pretty. You know, you, you can just kind of, this is just a sketch. Think of, uh, you know, you're just fleshing out just the start of an idea. And uh, nope, didn't like that at all. On like a napkin or something, you know? Let's see here. Yeah. Oh, yeah, this is where that snapping of the mirror is going to come into play. That's pretty useful. All right. Boom, boom. Let's draw the... There we go. Drop for the mouth. Drop for the chin. The neck is a little thin. Go ahead and start 3D modeling it out. Yeah, see, so you're kind of just doing like your napkin sketch right here in the beginning. This is just... Uh, I didn't like that. Let's come get behind it. And the thing is, is you can always draw like a first line just as a guide. And then if you don't look at it from the side, I actually don't mind that because I can always tilt the head just a little bit. Stay inside the lines, please. <laughs> oh, thank you. Yeah, getting some great advice from Tommy right there. Yeah, third grade art, art class was going to come into uh, full effect here. All right, let me go ahead and erase this line. Uh, pencil tool. Yeah. All right. Uh, and I guess I could grab it and tilt it, but I'd, 
probably be better off just changing some of this other stuff. To get the shape that I want. There we go. That's more or less the shape that I want. And then this. I want this line in the center. And then I'll draw my circle for the neck. This is about how thick I expect the neck to be. All right. And then let's just draw a general shape for the... Oh, that's going to be too thin. Yep, I don't like that. Wow, this is... Having the, the mirror snap to the center of the HMD is pretty useful. Hey, take it easy, phase one. Thanks for stopping by. There we go. Let's see, do I like that? Nope, didn't like it. Let's go back. Gotta love that undo button. I wish it was a little bit more accessible, like, because I don't really use the trackpad on my left hand at all. So, well, maybe there's a way to use it and it's just it's being reserved for that. But, uh, yeah, I'd like to have the undo just there on my undo and redo on my left hand. You know what? What's probably going to help is if I do the chin first. So I get... Right here. I'll erase that. Draw it over again. Nope, that's still too thin. Alright, I'm going to want it to be about right here. And then I'll draw it up. Drawing in 3D space is very difficult. Anybody who's played Orbis, yeah, you know what I'm you know what I'm talking about. Trying to cast them spells in 3D. Well, this is this is this is why I got so frustrated that I couldn't do it well because I do this pretty well, and so it was like, man, for those skills to not transfer over as well as I would have hoped. Rune Mage for the win, yeah, bro. This is Rune Mage practicing Crowstone. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> And so I was like, oh, you know what? I'll, I'll do some Rune Mage practicing in Tilt Brush and Masterpiece VR. All right, that's pretty cool. Yeah, I like that. That's that's pretty much where I want to go with it. Get the, the jawline established. Uh -huh. All right, neck is a little thinner than I would have liked, but it's okay. We'll take care of it in the post. All right, now I'm gonna draw this because this is kind of where there's a little bit of chinish area right there. Or you know what? Let me just draw like this. There we go. That'll work. Just to give some... We're trying to basically give our model a wireframe. If you've ever done any kind of like paper mache, imagine these things are just... Uh, imagine we're trying to make a paper mache head right now, and we're using hangers to define an area where we're going to want the paper mache to go over. But instead of it being paper mache going over... We're going to lay some VR sculpting down inside. So instead of laying, well, I mean, we guess we could go over it, but I'm going to lay down some volume inside of this. All right, so this is actually going really well for what I had expected. To tell you the truth, I didn't even know I was going to do a head. I thought about doing a barrel. <laughs> kind of went the other way on that one, though. But yeah, I'm, an, I'm kind of an ambitious guy. Anybody who knows me can account for that. Like to dream big, go big, go big or go home. Am I right? Yeah. All right. And giving some, giving some shape to the nose and to the brow there. Let's add some, just a for the eye socket. Maybe a cheek, just to define the cheek a little bit. 
to go from right here just to define the cheek a little. Ah, uh, you know what? I didn't like that. I'm thinking female. I, because the thing is, is that it's so hard to do. Like, well, for me anyway, uh, at, at my skill level. It's hard for me to do uh, female characters, and because I like to do the kind of real pretty fantasy anime type characters, and uh, not really anime, but just fantasy style, you know, the, that that kind of comic book fantasy style. And uh, you know, I have a little bit of trouble doing that. All right, so let's see here. I'll draw some. Uh, where do I want to go with this? This side, maybe. Draw some, draw a little bit of where I want the cheek to end right there. Draw some, where do I want the cheek to end over there? Because that's the jawline, but this is going to be like her cheekbone. Yeah, kind of right there. Yeah, and you can actually kind of see like how the retopology would go. You know, you would start with the eye right there and work out. Here's her cheekbone, you know, right here. And that's her nose right there. Uh, I don't know how pretty she's going to be based on this sketch, but this is a really good general idea. Like what I talk about, get your, get your, get your two, get your reference going. You know what I mean? It's definitely going to help in the long run. Right, and then this is going to come all the way around back there. Boom. There. Now I have pretty much the whole head shape defined. You can see the jawline runs right there, crosses around over here, down there, and then all the way around. That completes the jaw. Jaw right there. That's kind of the little ridge of her jaw. This is where like it starts turning in more into neck. Here's the you know the the edge of the jawline. I mean, here's her flat, her the, the full length of her jaw, her nose, her brow, her cheekbones have definition. Her mouth has a general area where we're gonna go. Draw a little chin definition there. Mouth will go right in there, and there we go. You know, that's pretty much what you want to. Oh, I don't like how egg shaped that head is, though. I have to change that. There we go, toe shape now. Much better with the toe shape. <laughs> there we go, I like that a lot. That looks nice. Make me a life-size Daryl Dixon. Hell yes! I like where your head's at, Domi. Yeah, for anybody tuning in, we are, in this house, we are a big fan of Walking Dead. It's our fam Sunday is our family family night, especially on Walking Dead. We all get together and check it out. Walking Dead, Talking Dead. Love it. And then give us a surprise. <laughs> well, I'm not judging or condoning or denying anything, but I can model it and I can animate it. And uh, with the right amount of time, I could probably poorly uh, voice act the model, do some voice acting for the model. So I don't know. We'll just put that out there. <laughs> Uh, too funny, too funny. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we a lot of, we watch a lot of Walking Dead here. Big fans. All right. Well, I mean, shoot, that's that's actually really good. I kind of want to take a picture of that. All right. I mean, actually, matter of fact, you know, I'm gonna do a little bit of a walk around for a clip because I figure. As as far as you know, referencing out the early sculpting part of, uh, I mean the only the getting your references for your sculpture in Masterpiece VR for me as a beginner is one of the most important parts. Like I can see that ah, uh, there's a little bit there, but I can probably fix it out. Yeah, I'm gonna have to fix this, make it a little bit bigger, even bring the the neck in a little bit more right here. Right there. Yeah, it's pushed back a little bit too much. As a matter of fact, let me go ahead and fix it. Because the thing is, is that you want good reference images. So if your reference images are bad, you can't expect too much out of your final model. So let me go ahead and fix this. Oh. 
about right here? Yeah, about right here. Okay, so then look, what I'm gonna do is, boom, you mark yourself a little spot where you wanna go, and then you line up to the perspective that you want, and then you can start filling in the gaps. That's a little bit better. There we go. Yeah, well, instead of uh, casting spells in Orbis, I'm casting up a character right here. <laughs> I should be getting XP for this, I think. Oh, hey, there's an idea. Masterpiece VR. Like, give me some achievements. For sculpting. Make a little game out of it. Nice. I like that idea. There we go. This looks so much better. I'm glad I took the time to do it. As a matter of fact, now let me get it in here. Yeah, this is why I like drawing in VR, because you can literally hit this from just about every perspective to make sure that it looks good. And I think, oh yeah, that looks so much better. I don't know how it's coming across on... You know, y'all's monitors in the stream, but yeah, this looks a heck of a lot better than it did just a second ago. I can see, I can see this thing coming to life. Hopefully my sculpting skills and masterpiece VR don't fail me now, but yeah, this is, uh, I figure the better, hey, thanks a lot. I appreciate it. Yeah, the, the better the, uh, the better the reference images are, I figure the better the model will be at least. As a beginner, that's my thought process behind spending the a little bit of extra time to do this. There we go. Yeah, so, so the ear is probably going to be about right here. And I'll just draw a little. This is not, that's just a reference for where I plan the ear to go. Yeah, this is looking good. I like this. Yeah, I'm really hoping that my sculpting skills don't fail me when I go to try to hook this chick up. But based on those other ones, I mean, they were not expected to be goblins. They just, they were expected to be females as well. They just came out so ugly that I called them goblins. <laughs> Spoiler alert. <laughs> oh, too funny, too funny. Yeah, so, okay. Yeah, we got a lot, we got a lot here going on. As a matter of fact, I kind of want to take a picture of that. Let me try to share an image of it. I'm actually going to share some orthographics. There we go. There's one. Oh, you know what? Let me get that's a bat. The brown is going to knock it out. Boom. Save to documents. Nice. As a matter of fact, I wonder if I can record a video while recording of it. No, that'll probably. That'll probably bog my system down too hard. Not even gonna try it, tell you the truth. <laughs> All right, well, let's go ahead and save this without going any further because you would hate to see, I don't know how much work I've done so far, but I would hate to see it go down the drain. Okay, so that's pretty cool. And that's how you save. And then you can see it's right there, save 13. Here's some of my other saves. Oh, this was actually something I had done. Uh, you know what? Let me test. You know, let me let me test the loading. This is how you load something up. Just because I want to see this, I had seen this was the first day that I had seen. Uh, they had added guides, uh, and they had that little Christmas contest. This is what I had decided to do with it. So I mean, you can see, like, I've put in a little bit of work to Masterpiece VR, but this is only like 25 hours. Like compared to some of the games that I play, that I still consider myself a new bat, 25 hours is nothing. Like I said, I got 50 hours in Orbis, and I still cast that Frostbolt 3 like I'm a freaking fresh off the boat. You know, day one in Orbis, like, ah, I'm just not. But yeah, no, 25 hours in here, with a little bit of imagination and a little bit of time. I did this in about 30 minutes just to see, okay, hey, I could build a robot Santa with uh, some kind of... These aren't super hard surfaces because I messed up, but this was just to get an idea. You know, I could have him have, like, 
metal presence for arms and legs and had like a little vibe headset <laughs> deluxe audio strap that I don't have I was hoping <laughs> to get here pretty soon but yeah yeah that's what I had done with some of the hard surface modeling all right back over here to my character oh as a matter of fact let me load up while I've got it here let me load up some of the last ones that I had done I don't know what that is I had stayed in the car somewhere. Okay, yeah, see, this was the first one that I had. <clears throat> this was my first attempt. And I'm just showing this as some perspective on, before I even go any further, I have no idea how that next bust is gonna come out, but I do wanna have an actual point of reference. So this was my very first uh, Masterpiece VR model. And I did it at pretty low resolution because I wasn't sure how it was gonna come out, but, uh. Yeah, you know, I mean, she didn't come out half bad for first timer, you know, and I don't do any kind of Z brushing. I don't do any kind of PC modeling, actual modeling. I never touched clay in my life, I don't think, at least not in a, you know, professional manner. <clears throat> and then it bumped up to this chick, which I don't know why she is this color. I have no clue. I must have painted her that way. Painting like one of your French girls. Yeah, I don't know why she's painted that way, but I pretty much did her the same way. There's a video of how I did this chick from beginning to end on YouTube somewhere. Uh, she has very ample bosom and her derriere is a little over exemplified here, but I was just trying to get the anatomy down. Everything I kind of, I kind of exaggerated everything as far as anatomy. I actually, as a matter of fact, when I was in school taking my video game uh, slash web design degree, I actually, for fun, uh, I had some extra time one semester, so I took actually two semesters, so I took anatomy and physiology one and two. Uh, I figured it would come in useful to me because I have a body and uh, I figured I should know more about it. But little did I realize that how much anatomy and physiology, as far as from uh, a medical perspective, would actually come into play when I'm doing sculpting and designing of character models in VR for video games. Yeah, you know, it definitely helps to have a general understanding of anatomy and physiology. So, heads up to education. <laughs> All right, so uh, heading back over to the model we're working. Oh, as a matter of fact, no, one more thing I want to show because I don't even remember doing this. I have a terrible memory. I guess this is the last time I tried to do a head. Uh, it's not terrible, I guess. I didn't get to finish it, but you can see I started focusing more on getting the facial features pronounced. The lips for, in this one versus the last one weren't that great, but I got I started working on eyelids a little bit. I couldn't get quite get the eyeballs to sit in there just right, but I can probably do that in post. The moon! It is the moon! The, la luna! I'll put that over there. Hello, Moon. <laughs> Notice me, Moon. <laughs> uh, sorry. Every time I see Kill Assault now, <laughs> I was running an Orbis stream there yesterday, and how you get a hold of the NPCs in that game is you take your hand and you walk up to them and you wave it in their face, and then it opens their UI, and they'll start, uh, you know, uh, they'll, they'll acknowledge you. <laughs> I go to an NPC to repair my gear the other day and I wave in his face and Kilosol just drops out. Notice me, senpai! In the chat, I busted up. Couldn't hold my stuff together. <laughs> oh, that's too funny. Too funny. All right. Let's go ahead and head back over. I'm sorry for the intermission. I just did. I did want to show just some of the progress. Before I even get started on this next sculpture, I wanted to show some of my progress along the way. So you can kind of see, you know, just where I've been, how, why I've gotten to where, why I'm doing it this way, if there's ways to do it better, you know, that that's why I'm making these videos. I like to watch myself work because the thing is, is that this is so new. Uh, there's very few resources on it anywhere. Like, there you go. I just got the notification. You just joined up, Kilo. So, uh, yeah, I appreciate it, man. Yeah, you know, there's very few resources, like there's not a college course for how to sculpt in VR, you know what I mean? So, 
uh, we're always just developing new techniques just out of imagination. And so I like to do as much little derping around as I can, just hoping I'll trip over a good little technique. So the thing is, what you're going to notice here is I switch from brush to sculpt. I can start drawing with volumetric, uh, you know, kind of like a clay type substance here, but um, I'll change the color. But uh, it actually stays independent of these drawn lines. So, like, let's say if I draw this right here, let me just draw this right here. All right, and then I go to, uh, let's see, hopefully this works. Go to select. Yeah. Oh, hold on. Go to select. How do I move it? Oh, I needed to move it. Hold on. Let me select it all first. And then cut. Yeah, see, it only cut the shape out of there. And now I have it here on my hand and I can paste it somewhere else. Paste it there and paste it here. It won't grab these lines. So if you want to do some erasing from the lines even, you can erase lines here without affecting your sculpt in here. So those two, that's why they're separated out. They work independently of each other. It's kind of like two different layers. You can have one drawing layer and then a sculpting layer. I don't know if it's exactly if that's what they were going for, but that's kind of how I see it in my mind. That's how I make sense of it. All right, so I don't know what this chick's skin color is going to be, but uh, let's check it out. Oh, that's a pretty skin color. Let me see. Mm, a little bit more bronzish. Like this chick's from the Jersey Shore. No, that's too bronze. Too bronze. Too bronze. Take it down a notch. Take it down a notch. Uh, still a little too orange. There we go. Now it's, it's it's just a little bit of bronzer, but we're still inside of our mind. Okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I was thinking it, but I didn't want to say it. <laughs> uh, too funny. Yep, I was thinking it. <laughs> I was like, no, that's not the look I'm going for. That's a bad look. Stop. Stop. <laughs> All right, so let's see if I can get the right shape that I want here. Oh, whoa, nice. I pretty much nailed it. I'm going to need to take a little bit here off the sides, but yeah, we don't want that too round anyway. Take it easy, phase went. Yeah, I don't, I don't want those. I don't want those too, too far anyway, but uh, so I'm going to have to take a little bit off the side. But I mean, that, yeah, dropping that circle right there in the center, that pretty much did it. That was like, hey, head, you want a head? You got a head. Uh, and I might, yeah, I'm going to have to add a little bit more to the back. I do want to do that. All right, well, let's get to work. All right, let's see. I'm going to try some erase first. And uh, I'm going to go ahead just to show some tools. I'm going to do the, as a matter of fact, let me go over here to the guides as well. Turn on some guides. Get some angle snap going, 45 degrees. Yeah, all right. Um, let, me do, let me do a plane. No, that's not what I want. All right, let me try it again. Uh, all right. Let me try and make another one. Because the thing is, is that I want it from about right there. All right, it's so about right here. And draw it over about right there. Right there. All right there. And then we'll go up with it so that it's more or less the shape that we want. I'll have it lean out just a little bit. 
So the top is a little bit. Yeah, there we go. All right, now we're going to try to erase against that. I don't know if this is going to work. So let's just, we're going to find out together. Nope. <laughs> All right, let's see here. I need to get this to snap to that plane. But I'm not quite sure how to do it. Oh, you know what? Let me turn it off. Angle snapping, maybe? See, I need to snap to that plane. I know I can do it with the paint. I guess I can't do it with the erase. Oh, wait, no, hold on. It did. It snapped up there. Huh, interesting. Interesting. Yeah, see, it did. It's okay. So I think I need to take, I need to take it down a notch is what I think it needs to happen. Nope, still go. Okay, so maybe I need to move this to about right there. All right, yeah, still doing a little bit of learning myself. Oh, I see. It lines up with the center of the box. Okay. So that's pretty much about where I want it. Huh, not quite. No, I'm not quite sure how to use that just yet. Let me go ahead and just try to make one box and just, boop, flatten the side of her head. <laughs> oh, you know what? Yeah, you know, when something doesn't work quite the way you want it to, just go ahead and bash it. That's uh, that's the tip for right here. Just go ahead and yeah, take a big old piece out of her head. Oh, the actually the the snapping was working too. Huh? Interesting. Yeah. See. Go right there. Take out some more. Nope. Didn't want to do that. That's good. I'm gonna go ahead and stick with that. Let's go ahead and smooth it over just a little bit. And we'll change shapes back over to the sphere. Oh, see, that's, oh, that's what I needed. To show the plane, like what plane is it on? Oh, there you go. Yeah, that's what I should have done. Okay, well, now I know. Hey, welcome back to us all. All right. Yeah, see, you can draw between two points to form a plane. Boom. Nice. Okay, let's see. How do I change? I want to change the size of this. I want to. I've seen a way to change this tool. Let me see if I can figure it out. And I'm going to need to get rid of all of those guys here pretty soon. No, it wouldn't be in options. It would probably be here on the beta. And I've done it before, I just can't remember how I did it. Oh, hey, there's there's the trash can. I'm going to get rid of some of these guys. I was wondering, man, hopefully I don't fill up my space with too many guides. <laughs> That's pretty sweet. There we go. Now we know where the trash can's at. Oh, nice. You can change how many sections there are in the grid. Lock the guides. Unlock the guides. I know there was a way to change the tool. I just don't remember how to do it. Oh, well. I don't really need to do it right now. Oh, wait. 
There we go. That's how you do it. <laughs> yeah. So now you can make new tools. See, and I kind of like this because uh, I think it might be good for doing like a mouth, like using that as the erase tool and kind of going in there like that. I don't know. I have ideas. But yeah, that's definitely something to think about. All right, let's get back to this chick. Let me turn off this angle snapping. Uh, the guides, I actually don't mind. But maybe not yet. Oh, these points. That's what those points are for. Okay, let me turn off those. Man, that's drawing buildings. I can see in bridges. Broken bridges. Sorry, I'm getting a little distracted here because I'm thinking of all the ways I can use these new tools. I, this is pretty new to me, so I'm still kind of... Like, I've been playing around with Masterpiece, but the, the guides and updates... It's, I mean, the guides and gizmos update is pretty, uh, pretty recent. Welcome back, Domi. How's it going? All right, let's see here. We're going to flesh out some. You know what? Let me go ahead and turn off some of this stuff right now. Oh, no. See? Yeah, okay. That's where I'm going to not want to have that on. No, why is it still... Hmm. Oh, let me throw these away too. I must have something turned on somewhere. Oh, there it goes. It was on lock. The guide's lock was on. That's cool. Now that I know about it. Oh, it's still on? What the hell? Oh, no. Angle snap. I want to turn off angle snap. Yeah, not trying to do that. So it still has me drawing on the plane. There we go. That's what I'm trying to do. Now we're going to go ahead and fill in the jawline. Go ahead and add some cheeks. Go ahead and add a little, little dot for the nose. Okay, now I kind of do want the angle snap going because I want to go. No, it's not angle snapping now. Why not? <laughs> Oh, that's actually really cool. That's just random. Gotta get rid of it though. All right, turn off the guides. This is what I wanted. See, I can see how that line right there, and you can make it. See, I'm now I'm pulling up and back and forth, and it's not going anywhere. It's just going. That's what I want. So that's how you do it. Okay, so the thing is, is that I'm doing a lot, I'm derping around because I'm going to watch this video myself. And that way, when I'm remembering how to use the tools, I explained it to myself. And uh, I realize I may not make sense to a lot of y'all, but I definitely make sense to myself. <laughs> so yeah, when you want to turn it off, when you want to turn on the guide, you press it. When you want to turn off the guide, you click it again. Now the guide should be off. 
All right. How far around do I want to go with this? Maybe I want to just like that. Maybe I want to go like this. And I'll fill this in a little bit right here as well. I'm probably going to want to smooth all of this out eventually. Oh, no. Okay, yeah, the recenter worked. I moved the mirror. Yeah, see, I have a feeling I'm going to want to smooth that first. That's cool. Well, let me start get to let me get to smoothing. As a matter of fact, I want to work on this check a little bit bigger. Let's make her ginormous, ginormica. All right, let's start smoothing some of this out. Uh, smooth strength. Go ahead and bring this up some. So as you can see, it's kind of just blending some of the. Uh, it's just blending the edges together is what it's doing. Just smooth it out. But you can see how big of an impact it has. Smooth that out now. And I have a feeling I'm going to have to etch inside of there or something. I'm not really great at etching yet. I haven't figured out quite a technique that I like to do it. Maybe if anybody else is watching this down in the comment section later, definitely let me know if you've got a technique for like etching a crevice right there. I mean, I imagine it should be as easy as just pressing erase with a really slim tool, but unfortunately I haven't been able to get it to work out like that. I'm still working on it. When I figure it out, I'll bring it back if nothing else. Ah, uh, see that's no bueno. Let me uh, erase an indention in there a little bit. So I can make this nose fit properly and then I'll fill in the gaps. There we go. No, back here, a little bit better, much better. I like it a lot. All right, now we'll fill in the gaps. No. I'm still trying to see how far away I can get before I start. Maybe if I build it up from up here. and smooth it out. All right, let me bring in some definition down there, smooth it out. It's really, we're just adding volume and then smoothing it out. That's pretty much my workflow. I, I add volume, smooth it out, and keep doing that until I'm happy with the result. And the thing is, is that you kind of, when you notice that the smoothing is not working so much, it's because you need to make it bigger. You need to make uh, your tool bigger so that it can grab from more area because what it's doing is it's averaging the area out. Oh yeah, that's nice. Let me smooth it a little bit more though. Oh shoot, no, recenter. You know, lock the mirror. There we go, I don't wanna accidentally hit the mirror. 
That's how you do that. I don't know whether head kind of like that. It kind of reminds me a little bit of a cyborg. I might go that way with it. I don't know. We'll see. I might just leave this as a as a bust, and maybe I'll upload it to my poly for people to. Oh well, I don't know. I don't know because I don't know if you can bring it back in and edit it. But uh, if nothing else for, to have for myself, it's going to be very useful to have uh, just a starter mesh for a bust. And uh, if it's not shareable, well, I and you're into this kind of stuff as well, I would suggest making a starter bust for yourself as well. Just a starter mesh, you know, save yourself some time if character modeling is something that you do often. Yeah, make yourself a starter bust. Or if, or if character modeling is something you want to do often, make a character bust. That's why I'm here doing this today, because I figure, oh, you know what, I want to do some characters, and it would help to have a bust. <laughs> Let's smooth that out so she doesn't look so Cro-Magnum. That brow is pretty pronounced. <laughs> Let me just go ahead and smooth it all out. See whatever I when it's mirrored, whatever I do here on the left goes to the right. Very Spock. Hell yeah, kill us all. I agree. Yeah, you kind of see it from that angle too, right? With that super pronounced. But I mean, dude, I've never done a character bust before, like not sculpted. So I mean, you basically have seen my uh the the entire extent of my sculpting experience in this video alone. And this is what I'm doing with Masterpiece VR now. And I mean, for me, like, consider this. I've done about a thousand hours of VR gaming. If I started creating a game with that, I would find that totally acceptable. Even without any facial features, just glowy eyes, no ears, a hood maybe, boom. Game character. <laughs> Yeah, so I I don't I almost not sure how much more I want it because the thing is, is I could fill out the back of the head, but I kind of feel like those are pretty good dimensions as they are right there. I'll just bring the ear up a little bit more. Let's see what it looks like without the brushes. How do I make this invisible? Well, let me just grab it all, I guess, for now. All right, so this is what I'm working with. I don't like how that goes out like that. She looks very surprised. She's got a little bit of a dimple right there. I kind of want to smooth that out. But I mean, as far as the cheeks and the nose and the brow and the head, I mean, everything else is just detailed. This is the shape of a, of a little bust. The ear is actually not that hard. You just draw a little bit of a line, you know, kind of... I don't want to do it here right now because I got. There we go. Okay, I put it back. All right, so let's. Uh, you know what? I'll draw. I'll draw an ear. Because the ears are fairly easy, in my opinion. I just like to draw a little. This is where I, I like to start from where it protrudes. So I don't know. I might clean up the jawline to come more about right here. So that's. Oh wait. Draw. So this is where like the little, you know, that part of your ear comes out, right? That's too big, but and then you could just kind of draw it. But I like to draw it 3D. And I don't know why, but I like to draw freaking elven ears. And that's too thick, but yeah, I mean, that's that's the ears. That's the general idea. I'm going to actually take that off because I'm going to put some more time into it later. Hmm. Let me go ahead and save this. 
Well, you know what? Let me smooth it out a little bit more first. And I like the lighting because you can adjust. You can see how I wanted to see this over here, this cheek a little bit better. I kind of just shifted the whole thing. Make sure it's smooth right there. And I like that little white circle. It shows me the area that's being smoothed. That's pretty tight. Smooth it out. And I don't like that, so I'm going to go ahead and get rid of it. You know what? I didn't want to smooth it. I wanted to erase. And then I'll smooth that. smooth a little bit more you can see some some rough areas just smooth them out if you ever see any rough areas just smooth them out if you unless you're going for that you see any places that look a little bit pixelated uh it's a little bit weird when the steam overlay gets caught up in my model though <laughs> yeah that's not bad at all All right, let's see here. Smooth out the chin a little bit. And I know I'm, I'm probably focusing on the details here a little too much, but uh, you know, let's go for, let's, let's, you know what, let me save it first. Let me save it like this, because this is a new iteration. Let me line it up. That'll work. Yep, it's there. Okay, good. Let's try to do some lips. Oh, you know what? I kind of want to try with the cone. And I kind of want to turn this. Yeah, there we go. That's cool. You know what? I kind of want to turn it again. I want it like that, I think. No? Do I want it like that? No, I want it like that. Kind of like lipstick. I want to like put lipstick on this chick. Uh, I forget. I'm drawing in 3D here. I need to go kind of inish. You know what? I wonder if I can get away with doing this and then smoothing it out. Right there. I think that's good. Let me try it. Huh, that's terrible. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> Uh. Let me see here. Let me see what this looks like in uh, 3D. Maybe that's not what I want. You know what? Let me reset it. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 this is going to work. But no, alas, I don't think it's what I want. Not at all. Let me try to smooth it out, though. Nope, I don't think that's what I want at all. Let me reset. Undo, 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 undo. Uh, undo, undo, undo. 
All right, let's think about this. Let's go back to the circle, I think. The torus or the etching? Maybe the etching. Huh. You know what? I kind of like this. Nope. I don't like that at all either. <laughs> uh, maybe I should just go back to the sphere, I think. <clears throat> Possibly the pyramid. What can we use to do lips, I wonder? See, that doesn't look that great. That doesn't look great at all. All right, we'll try to do that. Oh, maybe it's the resolution. Yeah, it might be the resolution. Let me try to make it bigger. You know what? I'll just go back to the good old sphere. But I really do want a cube for this. Yeah, that'll work. All right, now let's start smoothing it out. Let's see how horrible this is going to be. Smooth it out. I'm actually going to want to erase in there, I think. Yo, yo, yo. Hey, how's it going, Liberated for Gaming? How you doing, man? Yeah, I saw you playing some standout earlier. You enjoying the game? Oh, that's gross. I just try to smooth it. No, I want to erase. Yeah, but I want to erase like an etch. Let's see how thin I can make this. Well, that's pretty thin. Hey, that's, well, there you go. Now I know how to etch. Right, let's smooth it out a bit. As a matter of fact, let me reset this. Not bad, but not good because that client I told you about the dev still like giving me limited help. It's like you only get a certain number of support requests in their Discord. <laughs> oh man, that's a terrible predicament to be in. Yeah, we've uh, liberated for gaming, and I've been talking a little bit about uh, streaming mixed reality in VR. Uh, it's some one of those things that I'm like super interested in. So we're looking into different uh, different ways to go ahead and accomplish that. Yeah, you, well, man, I, I, I genuinely hope that you get it hooked up because I'm hoping to get my <laughs> mixed reality set up hopefully within the next two months, the latest. And uh, I would really like to hear a success story <laughs> from somebody I know. Like I know, I know a few people that do partial reality and stuff like that, but not the full on. You know, mixed reality. It's still pretty new, and I imagine it's going to be very difficult for a little while until it takes off. I have it mostly set up. It's just tweaking that needs to be done. Oh, that's cool, man. Well, that's good to hear. Hell yeah. Yeah, I'm just working on some character modeling here at Masterpiece VR today. I can't do mixed reality, only partial. Oh, that's cool. That's cool, man. Well, shit. Dude, though, I've seen the way uh, that guy Rage Sack does his partial reality it looks really cool i like it yeah
Yeah, I'm running on a little bit lower end of a machine, but I got my boys down at North Point Computers helping me out. We're putting together, we're designing a new rig that'll that's going to fit my needs here pretty soon. I will have uh, one machine to do all my gaming on and another machine to stream all the awesomeness from the other. <laughs> all right, I'm going to try to smooth that in. Uh, no, I didn't like that. Okay, I did like this, though. Uh, you don't need a green screen for partial. I'm looking to get a step up in the CPU end of my rig. Oh, yeah, man, I feel you there for sure. Uh, you know, Looking to get an i7-4790. Hell yeah, dude. That'll put you right up there, a 4790K. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, dude, that'll, I feel like that's going to get you where you want to go. That's where I want to be. <laughs> Super jelly. Yeah, that's where I want to be. That's what I'm hoping to get set up. I want to get an i7, uh, probably around that same range, the 4790, uh, on my main machine. And then I'm going to use my i5 just for streaming. Trying to get a couple of 1080 Ti's as well. I do a little bit of blockchaining from time to time and just got into that. Like make, having my video cards make money while I'm asleep. <laughs> That's tight. Nope, I smoothed it down way too much. I'm going to need to bring it back up just a little bit. Right there. And right there. My other specs are GTX 980 and Z97 Pro 3 motherboard. My i5 is bottlenecking me. Dude, for real, I'm on an i5 4590. I 100% feel you there, dude. That's my bottleneck as well. Like, I literally pinch resources when I'm setting up my stream. Every 3% counts. <laughs> Man, I am really not happy with these lips, but I have a feeling it's because of the resolution that this is made at. Like, if I made it at a higher resolution when I wasn't streaming, it would probably come out just a little bit better. But uh, from the side, I mean, she doesn't look too bad. She doesn't look terrible. Let me smooth it out just a little bit, though. These lips don't need to be so big. And I could probably do with a little bit of erasing there in the center. Yeah, we have the same CPU. Bend the lips a bit more, maybe. I think so, too. And really what I think it is is that... Okay, because look, I think it's, it's the resolution that I'm at. Let me make this bigger. I think it's the resolution that I'm creating this at because uh, I'm streaming, and again, we're talking about how our, our CPUs are bottlenecked. But uh, I think if I had it at a higher resolution, it would look better. But I think also if I dipped this in, it would look a little bit better as well. And that way things don't try to pinch to each other. There we go. That looks a little bit better, actually. That looks a lot better, actually. Creating characters, you start off with the low polys, then steadily increase it. Oh, hey, Liberated for Gaming. Do you do some 3D modeling as well? I have a little bit of background in game design, but I just started getting back into it with the emergence of VR. Hey, you use ZBrush. That's cool, dude. Yeah, I, I honestly... I just started, I originally learned a different program called Hash Animation Master back in college. Uh, but I graduated like a while back, so it's pretty outdated. But uh, I got back into Blender this year. Well, because I had done Mayo and Cinema 4D work in the past. But I got back into Blender this year uh, for a free option on, uh, on 3D modeling. But I've pretty much only just done geometry modeling up until now. Uh, I've never really used ZBrush or any of those other sculpting apps on computer, so I'm kind of just dumbing around here. I think that's really cool, though. You've done some work in ZBrush. That's awesome, man. Yeah, you want to go to college for it? That's cool, dude. Yeah, if you're looking to get it like a uh, – I don't know, man. I, I as Well, and keep in mind, I've only got like a bachelor's in it, so – or no, not even a bachelor's, dude. I got my – associates is in game design so uh but with that being said yeah it's smoothing out way too much there with that being said uh 
There we go. Like seriously, Udemy. I went and took a Blender course on Udemy, and it was. If you're just looking for information, I mean, I, I'm not even advertising for Udemy, but if you're just looking for information, there's resources online that are comparable to what you're going to find in a classroom. At least in my experience, uh, I'm sure there's some great schools with some great teachers out there, uh, but in my area. Without having to go too far away, there was not much. So uh, I did go to school for it, but I ended up getting more useful information out of some of the online resources that I participate in. Bubba Cump Shrimp Blips. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Definitely look into that, though, dude. Uh, you know, if – oh, there we go. I was smoothing at the top. I can smooth from inside. There we go. Okay, I can actually go back a few steps then. And let me start smoothing from the inside. Because this is what I wanted to do. But what I was doing was I was grabbing from up here and smoothing both of those into each other, which is not what I wanted to do. Oh, hey, Cal. Cal just showed up. Oh, yeah. What's going on, man? 1070. My bro just got a 1070. It's freaking legit. Yeah, that's nice. I'm going to have to catch up here with him in a minute. I really want to go online at Full Sail University, but college in general is out of my pocket. Hey, Liberated for Gaming, you know what, dude? If, if college is still a little bit out of your ways, but it's still something you want to do, seriously, dude, like, without any hesitation, I'm gonna, and I'm not advertising for you, Demi. I don't. I don't work for them. I'm not affiliated with them at all. But uh, I took some Udemy courses, one for uh, Unity and one for – one was the Unity – complete Unity game course and another one – as a matter of fact, I took three courses. Two of them were on Blender. I can – for $10 a piece, like you literally cannot get better information in a better format. And it, it, it'll be something for you to do for now, you know, that doesn't cost a whole lot. And, uh, you know, you can uh, have, uh, have a step ahead of the game whenever you go to college. You know what I mean? I've heard of Udemy and thought of it, but I don't really have the money for the programs. Hey, Blender is free. Unity is free. Uh, Udemy, the courses that I took cost like 10 bucks each. Maybe uh, if you do ever get just a little bit of extra pocket cash... What I, if you're ever thinking about it, I, I would highly recommend it. Definitely something to look at. I'll send you some links to some – as a matter of fact, I think it's on my Twitch profile page, the courses that I took. But uh, yeah, man, like the more you know, the more you know. Seriously, I'm a hardcore promoter of education in general. I don't care where you get your information from. I don't care if you have to pay for it or if you have to get it for free. Wherever you can get it, information is king. And so if you can have a little bit more of it before you do get your way into college, that I, I think it will give you a huge advantage and a step up. Yeah, I like the way this is turning out. I have played a little with the free program called Sculptress. I've heard of that as well. Uh, I've not used it myself, uh, but I have heard of it as well in the context of uh, retopology. Uh, some of the other programs that I've messed around with a little bit or heard about was uh, in, in that area is like uh, – Something coat, a uh, mesh coat or something like that. Oh, that that little touch right there. That was a good little touch. I mean, I might have to smooth it out a little bit, but that was a nice little touch right there to give that little dip. Yeah, let me go ahead and smooth that out. But uh, yeah, I like that little dip now. I think that mouth looks really good, to tell you the truth. Let me erase in here some more, though. Just to give the lips a little bit better of a shape. Yeah, and maybe if I clean out the mouth, all of these lips will get a little bit better of a shape. I'm kind of... I, I don't really know what I'm doing here, to tell you the truth, Liberated Gaming. Like, I'm not a big modeler but i do want to make vr games i don't know if you knew that about me 
Uh, I learned a lot about what I want to do character design just by watching Twitch streamers create stuff and asking questions. Man, liberated for gaming. Seriously, that is the best way to do it, dude. You want to know, like, okay, I started back in February, I think, on my YouTube channel learning how to make VR games. And uh, you want to know what really got me started? Like, I would just I found this one guy uh, fused VR on uh, on uh, on YouTube. Oh wait, no, I'm still I'm doing too much here, too too much erasing. Yeah, and he did he does coding on live stream, or he used to do coding on live stream, and uh, and I would just show up, and I, I had a, I had an interest in what he was doing, and. I would think about my questions sometimes, or I would take some questions that I had from the week before, and we would talk about it. And sometimes, you know, he would, we would get together after the stream. You know, he was, inter he was interested in how much I was interested. And that's a great – my point is that's a great way to go about it. Like, just talk to people that are doing it, especially like me right now. What I'm doing right now – I mean, I know. I'm a nobody. But just this is just as an example. Uh, I'm doing Masterpiece VR sculpting. So if somebody else – and the thing is, is that I'm streaming it. Not because I care about anything else. Really, I just, I like to chat. And the thing is, is, hey, I get some friends to chat with. And I like to have my own videos as a reference to go back and look at. But on top of anything else, uh, I, I like to talk about Masterpiece VR. I like to talk about whatever I'm doing. If I'm playing Standout, if I'm playing Orbis, if I'm playing Overwatch, if I'm doing some design work. If I'm streaming it, it's because I love this stuff and I like to talk about it. So showing up to a streamer's stream who's doing what you want to do is a really good way to talk about a topic that you want to talk about. That's that's really good advice. I also want to get into scripting and coding, but my math skills are terrible. Uh, I don't really have the patience to teach myself how to do it. So Udemy is a big option. Dude, like seriously, some of those Udemy videos, five, 10 minutes at a time. I think the longest video course uh, cause the thing is, is they're broken up into chapters and sections and the longest one I took was about 25 minutes, I think somewhere around there, but yeah, five, 10 minutes at a time. I would just do a course here and there. As far as with the scripting and coding, it is so not hard, dude. And I, you know what? I'll give you, here's just, here's some beginner tip for scripting and coding. Like. I'm just going to, this is just a casual, just, you know, one, one friend to another, uh, scripting and coding, the key to scripting and coding, it doesn't even matter what language you pick. If you want to pick C plus or C sharp or Java or whatever, whatever language you want to pick is fine. It doesn't matter. It's irrelevant because the thing is, is that they all just base, they go based on syntax. So as long as you understand how to talk to whatever software you're designing in or you're coding in, as long as you learn how to talk to the to the engine behind it, it's just a matter of learning the words you want to say. And you, if you've ever tried to learn a different language, like uh, I'm actually in a very Hispanic part of Texas, but I don't speak Spanish. But uh, I do try to learn from time to time, at least to understand, because it's useful in my area. So with that being said, Every time I want to know how to say something that I don't already know how to say, I'll go and I look it up. And then I look at, okay, how are the words put together? Which, Where did they put the noun before the pronoun? Where is the adjective? Where is the, the subject? You know, Where is the subjugation in the sentence? And all of those same rules apply to coding as well. So you just learn, okay, if you want to make something you know, move, you want this head to move over there. Okay, well, what's going to cause it to move over there is – a rigid body, you know, and so you'll put a rigid body on there and then you tell, okay, the rigid body, what do you want the rigid body to do? Well, the rigid body has a location wherever it's at. You say, okay, engine, make a note of where the rigid body is at. Now you say, okay, I want the rigid body to go over there. So then you say, okay, I want the rigid body to move in the X, Y planes that we're in, move it over there and rotate it. And so the code for that is literally just grab the reference for rigid body, rigid body dot position, you know, uh, new position, old position, new position. Translate rigid body from old position to new position and then rotate. Rotate rigid body and then give it some parameters to rotate by. And yeah, it's just it's just learning how to talk.
Tiene muy grande gato en mis pantalones cortos. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, my side hurts. Oh, I literally, I think I busted a gut. Oh, oh my God. Oh, my side literally hurts. Oh, my ribs. <laughs> I took a year of Spanish in high school. That is hilarious. Yeah, 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 dude. Yeah, so I mean, it's if you, it, yeah, so then you're familiar with learning a different language. You know, learning, learning coding is the same thing as learning a different language. Literally, it's just learning a different language. You have to learn the syntax. You have to learn what is it expecting to hear? How is it expecting to hear it? Make sure your words are are pronounced properly. Yeah, I think this is going to need to come out a little bit more. Make sure your words are pronounced properly. Make sure you're giving correct instructions. Well, once you learn how to talk to the computer, <clears throat> once you learn how to talk to your, your game engine of choice, I chose Unity. Uh, a lot of people choose Unreal. Uh, it really doesn't matter, whatever you're more comfortable in. But... Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm not a pro. It's something I've always wanted to do. I actually did dedicate four years of my life in school to doing it, uh, to learning how to do it. And then I've dedicated another, the last year, uh, in VR specifically, uh, learning Unity, Blender. And that's what I'm doing here today. I, I own Masterpiece VR. I own Tilt Brush. I own Google Blocks. I own Virto Studio. I own a lot of VR design apps. I don't like that ear at all. I, I own a lot of VR design apps. And uh, the reason I do is because, yes, I could use, especially for how well I work in Blender, I could use Blender to uh, make some assets, but I have so much fun in VR, I never want to be out of VR. And so this lets me create these models uh, in VR. Now, another advantage of that is that I can create these things at scale. So like if I want this chick to be this big, well, I modeled her at that bit and I know that everything on her is gonna look right at this size. That ear looks doesn't look too small. Actually, this head does look a little too small. No, that looks too big. That looks about right. Yeah, that ear looks good. I play with your ear, play with your lips. You know, give me a kiss on the cheek. Mwah! You know, just nothing too inappropriate, but yeah. You know, there it is. <laughs> High school was a nightmare for me, so I'm kind of skittish or scared of going out of school again. Yeah, dude, I, I'm the same way. Well, to tell you the truth, when I went to school, it, it was it wasn't a huge school, but you know, I did really well there. Like, oh, I was still in draw mode. I did really well there, and so the thing is, is that uh, I don't know. The thing is, is that game design was still such a new thing at the time that uh i ended up teaching most of the material to the teachers so that they could teach it to the students better but uh oh i'm on smooth i need to draw a little bit more right there and then smooth it out nope don't like either of that i'm gonna go back right where i was and i'm still trying to tweak it and i am i'm focusing on the details too much i need to just get the base mesh done there we go I was bullied big time is what I meant. Oh, I see, man. I'm sorry to hear that, dude. Yeah, sorry to hear that. That's terrible. Like, seriously, I'm, like, so against bullying. I freaking, I, I well, I'm a father myself. So, I mean, I hate to think that any of, you know, my children or uh, any of my children's friends or any child, for that matter, gets bullied at school. Like, I just, I hate to hear that, man. I'm so sorry. Yeah, but, uh, you know, hopefully things get better. If nothing else, like I said, uh, I did Udemy. And that let me do things on my own pace, my own time. I didn't have to worry about other people getting in the way. Oh, well, I'm going to need to fill this in. I didn't have to worry about people getting in the way. And, uh, you know, it, it's definitely something to look at. I, I would, and, and I guess that's the only reason I, because I, it sounds like you're really interested. And so, I mean, a real talk, that, that, that would be my honest suggestion is if you want to do stuff, you know, don't wait to go to school before you start doing it, you know, because just for the, the cost of a pizza, you know, you could start learning how to do that stuff already. And uh, I'm not saying don't go to school because having a degree will definitely help you, especially if you're, uh, that's gross.
especially if you're planning on getting a job working for somebody else, uh, like a big company, maybe you want to work for, you know, Blizzard or something someday. Uh, you definitely having a piece of paper that says, you know what you know will help. But, uh, you know, information is valuable, even if you have the paper that says you know how to do it or not. So, yeah, man, I would I would strongly recommend uh, maybe even just taking some, some classes for fun mm -hmm. on your own time, your own pace. I can tell you this. I am really enjoying watching this. I haven't watched a creative stream in a long time. Oh, man, I, I really appreciate that. Yeah, the first part of the video was a little bit better. I am super interested in to hear. Like, I really enjoyed chatting with some of you guys that are interested in, in some of this, this stuff. So I know I have gotten a little bit off course here a little bit. But, uh, yeah, I'm still – this is actually – I'm doodling while we're talking. And uh, it's actually not coming out bad. I think I'm actually going to be able to use this for something. And so for anybody else tuning in at this part of the video, because this is probably going to end up on YouTube, I really like the way this is coming out. Uh, what do you call it? You can actually use Mixamo. Like, okay, I'm doing the head right now, but I could actually do the body later. And I can animate that, rig it and animate it using Mixamo and never really have to leave VR to get I'm sure you, anybody who's watching this who knows anything about VR has heard it about at least at least heard of VR chat recently, and uh, yeah, these models I believe can be used in VR chat, which I thought that was super interesting. I I want to say I heard a guy talking about how he sculpted a model here in Masterpiece VR, and then he was able to rig it and animate it so that he could take it into VR chat with him. And I was like, oh, man, that is legit. Yeah, see, I don't really – that neck needs to have some more volume in it, I think. Maybe, like, right here. Right there. That's good. That's good. I tried drawing items, but my hand coordination is terrible, and I get frustrated really easy when my ideas can't be transferred to the paper. Oh, man, I don't have that problem, but I, I, can, I can relate. Like, I, I can understand. The frustration for sure yeah dude uh i actually you when i well because i used to i'm mostly a sketch artist that's what i do my primary my primary expertise as you can see from these lines like i just i like to do sketch art uh i don't like to spend a whole lot of time putting a whole lot of detail into anything but you can see that that is completely different when it comes to vr because you just get so much control over the detail. It's, I mean, okay, watch, dude. Look, you're thinking about going to college for game character design and stuff like, or character design in general. Uh, watch, dude. In the next five, 10 years, this is going to be a course. How to do VR sculpting is going to be a course because the thing is, is that I do, I, I have, I have probably around 200, 300 hours in Blender. And uh, I'm telling you, like, just being able to to grab your model and swing it around and see it from a whole – and it's precise, you know? You cannot do that no matter how long you've been – it is so hard. I mean, maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm talking out of my butt. But, uh, you know, it's so hard to see the angle you're working on, work on it from different angles. And, you know, it. it this is perfect. Look at that. I'm getting, like, great indention under here. Smooth that out. Yeah, look at that. I, I'm really I don't like the resolution of that mouth, but I mean it's not horrible. But the only difference is I'm a stickler for detail on things. Yeah, yeah, no, nah, dude, I I 100 I I completely agree. I've I've got a nasty case of OCD and ADHD as well, which is an in interesting combination of deficits. But uh, it also keeps me interested. That's why. I consider myself a variety streamer of sorts. Uh, I don't really consider myself a professional streamer at all, but uh, I stream for fun, but I do stream variety. When people ask me, oh, hey, what do you stream? Well, I, I, I have ADHD, and so I'm interested in a lot of things, and I have OCD, which means I f focus on each one of those things very intensely while I'm interested in it. And uh, and so that I don't forget when I come back around, because it actually has been a while since I've done a Masterpiece VR video. Since uh, it might be a while before I come back around, I like to be able to review my own footage. Hey, what was I doing the last time I was in that app or the last time I was interested in that thing? 
And then, uh, you know, I, I can kind of review and get back on course when next time I jump in. <laughs> it's cool, man. It'll be on the video. I'll link you the clip. <laughs> it was a 240. Whoa, two, yeah, 240. How long have I? I kind of got off on a tangent here. Man, I swear, I get so zoned out. Yeah, I've been running for about an hour and a half. That's cool. This is gonna, There's going to be a lot of stuff. There's a lot of technique in this video. I've been working on this head for about an hour and a half. This is not bad, dude, for an hour and a half. And I mean, this is really my first decent head. Uh, let me go ahead and save this before I lose it. All right. Go ahead and save it. We'll save at the hour and a half mark. Boom. Yeah, and now I can mess around with it and I, don't, I can always come back to this. This is good enough for now. It looks a little bit like John Picard. <laughs> Yo, what's going on, John Picard? How you doing, man? Hell yeah. Hey, I recognize it. Yeah, dude, I recognize your name. How you doing, bro? Sorry, I have a terrible memory. I want to say it's from Standout. I apologize if that's not where it's from, but I know I know your name. <laughs> Probably from a lot of other different things. <laughs> Yeah, stand out. Yeah, there it is, dude. Oh, I'm so I'm so glad. I have a terrible memory, bro, but I know I remembered your name, and I was like, man, I hope I'm not getting it wrong here. But yeah, stand out. That's where we know each other from. Yeah, I'm doing some creative design here in uh, Masterpiece VR today. Well, my family and I live in a PA where the keen sense for perfection and details. Hey, man, hopefully that's gonna take you that keen sense to detail, that eye for detail. That's gonna take you some places, dude. That's actually a skill. Some people have to pay for. Yeah, standout, dude. Hell yeah, dude. Freaking liberated for gamings and standout as well. Dude. As a matter of fact, yeah, I did lots of people from my chat over here and standout as well. Yeah. Well, I mean, if you've ever seen any of my other standout footage, I what I one of the things I talk about constantly is that uh, I like to make VR games even just for fun. I do some work in Unity, and so when I'm creating assets, this is uh, this is what I want to get better at. I'm still a noob at it. I'm making this video footage kind of just to document my own techniques. How do I do certain things? What do I do well? What do I need to do better? What can I do better? And, uh, you know, I, I get to watch these own, I, I get to watch my own videos. And uh, that way it gives me, you know, some, it, it's, it's like, oh, I didn't like that. No, I see I keep trying to work on this mouth, but it's just, it's so horrible. It's so bad. I'm probably going to have to just scrap it and start over again. But yeah, uh, let me see here. You made anything for VR? As a matter of fact, I have made something for VR, dude. Uh, I am just a hobby VR enthusiast. But uh, yeah, I made... It, it's not been published, but uh, I did... It's on my YouTube channel. I made a little stupid mini game called uh, Iron Guy vs. Galactic Aliens. Oh, no. See, I didn't like that. Iron Guy versus Galactic Aliens. And it was just a little tech demo because uh, I love to fly in VR, right? So uh, it was just a tech demo of like basically what Galaga in VR could be like. You know what it is? I need to make this deeper. Yeah, and I basically just made some little Iron Man hands and some little, uh, you know, a little town, a little free town that I got as a free asset from the Unity store just to mess around with. And, and then I followed a tutorial to make a flight mechanic. And yeah, I made my own little flight Iron Man game. Oh, for VR chat. Sorry. No, no, sorry. I miscom I, I, I'm actually, uh, you can make your own worlds and avatars. Dude, Java Bart, I'm so glad you showed up. Yeah, kill us all. VR chat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no. I actually, me and kill us all were talking about this other the other day. Kill us all is a real life friend of mine uh, who he's he's interested in VR, but he doesn't have VR yet. So I talked to him about it a lot, or I don't know if he's interested, but I talked to him about it a lot anyway. <laughs> but uh, what do you call it? Uh, we were talking about VR chat the other day, and I don't know a lot about it. I think I've only been in it once, and it was in the very one of the very first things when i got vr just because it was free but uh no i definitely want we've i've seen some video footage recently i think uh some other streamer i think it was shroud or other streamers in general have been going in there i hadn't really looked at it but uh 
Yeah, I know. Somebody had told me that they used one of their models that they made in here for VR chat. And I do know, I have never done it, but I have looked at the process for doing it and I am 100% certain that I can do it. Uh, I can make a blocks model. I can make a masterpiece VR model. That's actually much better. This is what I was going for. I need to clear out the eye socket. All right, so note to future self, when you're trying to make eyes, clear out the eye socket and it'll make it a lot easier. <laughs> Clip that. All right. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We, as a matter of fact, Java Bar, we just started looking into VR chat. Literally, like it's so, it's so cool that you brought it up because we've actually been talking about VR chat over the last day or two. And uh, I, because I, the thing is, is uh, we do, I, I, I want to make VR games, right? But I would also like to make multi-platform, if not cross-platform, VR, PC, mobile, console games as well. And even just for fun, you know, not for sale, not for, you know, it's not going to be AAA or anything, but uh, just for myself, for fun, for personal personal satisfaction. And with that being said, um, I got a game. I, I, I like to be able to include all my friends. And so I got a game not too long ago called Snatchers. Uh, I think it got renamed to Speedball Arena now. Uh, because it was it was cross platform PC and VR, you know, it was kind of like a, ro a Rocket League type game. But uh, you know, and so I'm always on the lookout for stuff like that, ways for non VR players to interact with VR players. Oh, I think I just did it, my shit just crashed. Where did my shit go? Oh no! Come back. Come back. Where did my model go? Huh. I might have pushed it to the limit that my computer could take. Alright, let me try to load something else up. Oh, yeah, see? Okay, there's that. Load this. All right, there, there she is. All right, I'm gonna have to do the eyes over again. Also, to future self, bring bagels. Forgot to save. Oh damn! No, actually, I did save, but uh, the only thing that didn't save was uh, clearing out this eye socket. I don't know what I did. I, I probably derped it up somehow. I probably left it right there. I should have changed it. I don't know. Maybe I clicked start new. But it's cool. I remember what I did. And I made myself a note on how to do it again. So that is what's worth the most value to me. Even if I mess up here. that This is why I stream. Like, seriously. Like, I'm always afraid to forget. And then think, imagine if I was doing this. Because I have, like, a terrible memory problems. And so uh, if I forget, like, let's say I was doing this... Uh, not on stream right now, right? And because the thing is, I don't have hard drive space to record this. I do too many things. And I just don't have the hard drive space to support it all. And with that being said, uh, if I wasn't streaming this and I had just lost it, I mean, that would have been it. That would have been it. Like, if I didn't remember, Dunzers. So, yeah, advantages of streaming some of your VR creative work, a pro tip. One of the advantages is... You have bad memory like me. There's video evidence to catch up on some of your lost memories. And there we go. Now let me try to save it again. Uh, it doesn't look as good as it did the first time, but you know what? Maybe if I... And then I'll smooth this out. Smooth that out, or erase it a little bit more. All I need to erase it a little bit more is what it is. There we go. Make it a real eye socket. And then I'll smooth it out. All right, so I don't know. What do you guys think in the chat? Like, I don't do a, I don't do a lot of 3D modeling, kind of just a beginner. What do you guys think about this? This is not bad. We've been, I've been going at it for about two hours, kind of just learning as I go. I didn't really have a plan where I, when I started. I had no idea what I was going to do. I thought, honestly, I thought I was going to do a barrel. <laughs> just to, I was like, oh, you know what? I want to make something today. I want to be creative. I'm feeling very creative. I want to make something. 
I was like, you know what? I've been seeing a lot of other people do, do like one thing daily. And maybe I might not spend two hours a day doing doing uh doing something every day but i definitely want to try to spend at least five ten minutes 20 minutes an hour daily whatever i can afford doing daily creative stuff and uh so yeah i've kind of just been dumbing around i'm not a professional i had no idea what i was going to do i thought i was going to do a barrel or a table i decided to go with a bust which was reaching really far from my skill level <laughs> but uh i don't think she came out half bad let's look at her from the side and I'll shrink her up a little bit so we can get her in frame. I'm not sure how my shit's cutting her off, but yeah, you know, not, you know, and I could make the eyeballs now, but uh, I kind of want to save first. Yeah, let me. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna save without the eyes in case I want to. In case I want to do different eyes later. All right, we're gonna save this now. Save it again. Yeah, I know she looks a little bit like a guy right now with her eyes cut out because of the, that's a very masculine look. That's the looking masculine in 2018 fall fashion edition. But uh, I think it looks pretty good. Uh, let's see. Most things on Udemy, uh, Udemy at the moment are $11. Yeah, 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 dude. <clears throat> the Liberated Gaming, I I got all the four courses that I have on Udemy. I got them each on sale. The thing is, is if you, even if you see a course that's like one hundred and fifty dollars, Udemy courses go on sale all the time. Like you can find it for like ten, eleven dollars most times. Uh, probably you can probably find it on sale more than at full price. Uh, Java Bar, I don't have Killing Floor Incursion right now. I have seen it. Because and I, I maybe maybe you can correct me if I'm wrong, uh, but I think it's kind of like Black Ops Zombies, you know, where you like you build up, you know, it's like it's a zombie killing game, kind of like that for the surviving. Uh, maybe you can clarify that for me a little bit while I got you here. But it is one of those games I saw; it was on my wish list, and it just went on sale today. Uh, so yeah, that's definitely something I'm interested in as well. I just bought Zom Day for the winter break because it was cheap, and it was one of those games that I really wanted for my library. Uh, that I always see p at least a few people playing that I, I personally, I don't care how many people are playing it. I want to jump in and check it out. But uh, no, Killing Floor Incursion, that's one of those games I want to check out as well. My head's too wide. Uh, you, you might be right. You might be right, bro. I think Killisaw has a point here. First of all, let me get rid of that. But yeah, I think this right here might be too wide. You're right. Yeah, co-op. I'm trying to find someone to stream co-op. Well, shoot, dude. I, I'll I'll take a look at it a bit, a little bit more. And uh, if I do, if I can swing it, yeah, it looks pretty good. Uh, if I can swing it, I'll definitely pick it up, dude. And if I do, I am always down to co-op stream. Not always, like I do do a lot of other stuff. But if 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 everything in the lines, yeah, man, I would love to do. I love to do co-op streams. Like, uh, as a matter of fact, I kind of want. I'm trying to set up some co-op streaming for Orbis as well. I want to do some dungeons but uh on stream but i don't feel comfortable putting people in my stream that like didn't agree to be there beforehand you know what i mean i feel like that's it's kind of creeper i'm not big enough for that you know what i mean so i was like ah, i kind of want to just some friends of mine that stream as well I think I found a course I'd like to take on Udemy at Valuable Game Character Creation in Blender. Nice, dude. Yeah, the thing is, is you can actually watch a few of those videos before you buy the course. Yo, you have Orbis too? Nice, Liberated for Gaming. I play a level 9 Rune Mage right now. And, uh... <laughs> yeah, I mean, I usually don't say... Yeah, 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 you know what I'm talking about then, Java Bar. Like, man, I've caught so much shit, dude. I... Yeah, I mean, I've caught so much shit from their community as far as for streaming and making videos. Like, the, the most, I didn't even expect for it to be. I made just how I'm making this video to kind of, you know, document the things that I learn as I learn them. When I did the same thing for Orbis, I put it on YouTube just to help other rune mages get started. And I didn't expect for it to take off, but it did. It's my most widely viewed video on my YouTube. And, 
I don't know. I think people thought I was like trying to be a professional or something. And it was like, dude, I made that for me. It was just to help some other people out. Like, cause I was helping myself out anyways. Like shit, I didn't mean to offend, but nah, it, it got pretty salty pretty fast. So I got to kind of, kind of go, I got to, I guess I got to be more tactful in how I go about it. But you know, taking a friend who's already under the impression that, Hey, we're going to go stream some footage of some, something that would be great. Level three or four mage. Yeah, you got a level three or four mage. It's pretty tough. Oh, level 10 musketeer. Nice. Yeah, well, my secondary character is uh, I want to do it as a, as a warrior. That was the, the first one that I had started, actually, was a warrior. And uh, there we go. I'm going to bring that up. Just So you the thing is, here's another little pro tip. You can bring it inside. You see that white line? That's the only thing that's going to get tilted out. So it's only going to come out a little bit. Yeah, remember that. Oh yeah, sorry, I got distracted. But uh, yeah, you know, uh, I, I like the warriors. I like to feel like a Spartan. And uh, I picked the mage because I don't know. I always play wizards in MMOs, and so I was like, hey, let me play a wizard in this MMO. No, just level three or four. I haven't even started the mage quests. Oh, okay, that's cool. That's cool. That's cool. Yeah. Nah, the mage is actually it's the most difficult class to play, in my opinion. Uh, but it's it's really fun. I, I keep playing it. I'm not you know, talking shit. Uh, I keep going back, and nobody pays me to do it. I do it because I want to. I, I feel like it could be more fun, but, uh, you know, I'm willing to buy in on the early process. Smooth all that out. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I do. I enjoy playing it. I just, I have to play it with the right people. I think a big part of the reason why I have so many trouble with that game is just because I met the wrong people. Like, every time I logged in for a week straight. And it was just horrible. So, I don't know. I didn't have that friendly community experience that a lot of other people said. And I left it in my review. <laughs> but I wasn't lying, you know? That was my experience. I review a lot of games. I t alpha test. I beta test a lot of games. I know what to expect. I have realistic expectations. It fell a little bit short, but with all of that being said, I'm still playing it. So you could take that for what it's worth. Oh, I don't even know what I want to do to this chick. I know I want to save her again, though. I'll just save over it. Save. Save over that one. All right, that'll work. But yeah, just to give you some perspective of what I can do from here now, because I haven't even touched on the brushes. Let's go. Ahead. I mean, I touched on them a little bit, but uh, we got materials here. So, like, let me add a uh, fur. That's a fur. What kind of fur does she have? Uh, let's give her some white fur. No, I don't like that. Oh, so by the way, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and leave this little Easter egg in here. Check this out. This is how you cast Frostbolt 3 in Orbis as a rune mage. Boom! No! <laughs> oh, the thing is, is that this is like one of the spells that everybody wants to cast. And it's so freaking hard because it's so stupid. Like... In the game, this is the way the game shows you that it's supposed to be drawn. Something like this. All right, now look from the side. Look at how different those two things are. Right? Because I guess, yeah, it's... Look, that goes... That's what the pillar looks like. This one right here. But this is what you're actually supposed to do to get the spell to cross. And the thing is, is that I know that there's even some people, like, exploiting some fault in the game because like okay this is frostbolt 2 right but you can get away with casting frostbolt 2 just by doing that if you just do this first one like just this that'll still cast frostbolt 2 also no just level three or four. now level three fireball okay you know what hey some freaking impromptu orbis vr roommates training here in masterpiece vr all right so here is fireball three well, uh, you know what, because it's actually more sharp, but I mean, 
This is what it's supposed to look like. Oh, that's that's bad. That's not gonna. It has to be on the perfect plane. So like this, and then over here, boom, like that. Uh, that's not perfect. That probably will not cast. Let's try to do a better one. Okay, let's try to do it right here, as a matter of fact. And let's change the color of this to be... You know what? Let's change it to be the Orbis color. <laughs> All right, so this is what it looks like. And as a matter of fact, let me change the brush. Uh, we'll make it Ghost. Yes, I like Ghost. Okay, so here's how I do Fireball 3. More or less like that. Oh, it ghosted out. <laughs> I did a YouTube video on how to cast that very easily, fairly easily. Nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I freaking, uh, I made a couple of videos as well, but really they're just random gameplay. Let me change it to the basic. Yeah, but this is not one of those spells I cast often. So I'll definitely check out your YouTube video. Boom. But yeah, that's 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 my that's how I do Fireball 3, but this this is a uh, really what I practice doing often is uh the Frostbolt Frostbolt 3, which is like this. Just like that. So the thing is is you can actually see my controller here. I'll do it in slow motion. Starts straight front like that, boom, like that, and then it turns like this and pushes forward. For some reason, this casts like I would say 90% of the time. You do it like this, you're gonna get it. And it's got to keep in mind, it's got to cross pretty much right there. If not, this could have actually been a little bit more like right there, boom, kind of like that. Yeah. So in my Frostbolt 2 video, that's pretty much uh, Arcane Explosion. I can, it, I've can, i seen it. I have it. As a matter of fact, let's check it out. Oh, wait, no. Not Masterpiece VR. Let, I'll check it out right here, as a matter of fact. Orbis. Screenshots. See, I I have it. Uh, but it's, it's, it's so horrible. I can't do it. Have you figured out a way to do this, Java Bart? I don't know how it's coming out because the thing is I'm seeing it in 3D. Hopefully it's coming out well there on screen. But, I mean, there it is. And I just, you know, I can't. It, 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 I have not gotten it once. No. Uh -uh. Short answer, no, I have not gotten it. <laughs> I mean, I know what it's supposed to look like. But it seems like in this game, knowing what something is going to look like and then, you know, actually making it happen are two totally different things. And so in my imagination... It's supposed to look like this. Something like that. You know, but can I cast it? Hell no, not to save my life. I have, but that looks different. Yeah, it does. It's, a, it's supposed to look like a three with a belt. I mean, look how close, you know, y'all saw how close it was. I'm not gonna go back for looking for it, but y'all saw how close this was to that. And so I know how to do it, but have I ever done it? No, negative. Not even on accident. Oh, that one. Yeah, that one. That one's easy. I, I I call that one the the ninety one. This is. You're right. This is pushback. You're right. I'm sorry. That was my mistake. Yeah, yeah. This is how I do it. Boom, like that. And then, so I mean, I start out. I mine looks more or less like a ninety one. And then, then there's this one. I don't know. I don't know if that's the way it's supposed to look because I haven't seen the glyph, but that's how I draw it, and it works. Yeah, the V at the bottom. Uh huh. Yeah. Oh, so this is the one you were talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I haven't seen the glyph, but I do know how to cast a spell. I get this one fairly often. I, I think it's actually supposed to have a line right there, but for some reason, the game registers it just like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, and see, that's one of the things I'm talking about. Like, I think the reason the other guys don't like me is because uh, they've learned to do these spells in a way that I can, as a developer, I consider it an exploit because that's not the way the game was designed to play. 
And so with that being said, if they're shortcutting the system and not drawing the actual glyphs, I consider that an exploit. And so when I have so much trouble drawing the glyphs and I complain about that it needs to be changed, I, I see how that can bring some resistance from the people that have already gotten used to having it be the way that it is. I don't know. Maybe that's just, maybe I'm just thinking about it too much. Oh, okay. I had it on pencil. That's why. Yeah, I get back to my little Sephiroth female here. That's what she's turning into being. Oh, draw some hair on her. Oh, no, that's gross. I need to draw like this. <laughs> yeah, but I have a feeling there's some people that have found some shortcuts that, I mean, I think they're going to end up being patched out. I can't see how a game that's making the kind of money that Orbis is making is going to leave, you know, broken stuff like that in their game, at least as they get closer to launch, hopefully it becomes a priority. And I don't anticipate that it's going to stay that way, uh, especially as, like I said, as after they start closing up some of the loopholes. And so I'm trying to learn how to do the spells the way the game wants me to, but it's a little bit difficult when the game teaches you to do the spell wrong. Like I can literally, you know what? I can literally show you well, I'm not going to do it right now, but I can literally show you uh, the the glyph of that Frost 3. And, I mean, I promise you could try doing that thing until you're blue in the face. I even stood up on a chair to look at it from a straightforward eye-level angle. Yeah, you will never cast that spell based on the way the glyph wants you to, which means the game is giving you bad instructions. And so I just try to alleviate some of the stress with my videos and anyway, I just try to leave some of the alleviate some of the stress that that has caused me for other people. You know, hey, I've done it like this way for 20 hours and it doesn't work. You know, don't waste your time. Or if you figured out a way to do it better, please let me know. You know what I mean? I just information. Let me know. Let some other people know. Let some other people not be frustrated. Uh, Dude, this is looking really good. But I want to take away all of these things now. And I, yep, see, it'll grab the brush too. Oh, well. Yeah, I like where this is going. Sorry if I'm uh, sorry if I'm ranting a little bit about Orbis. I'm not really ranting. These are just some of the things I think about. Because uh, the thing is, is that I do. I have mixed feelings about Orbis. Uh, I make no secret I have a negative review on their page right now. Uh, as a not recommended, but I wish that there was a maybe option. I had to pick not recommended for lack of a better option. Unfortunately, I don't think for the amount of development that's gone into it that it should still have some of the problems that it has. One of them being the main quest line was bugged for me and many other people. And the thing is, is that we didn't know about it because they didn't patch, hey, a warning or nothing. We found out just randomly like days later hey there's a freaking main quest line and we're missing out on most of this game because we didn't know the quest line was bugged <laughs> and so i don't know it's just little issues like that i mean how are you going to launch a quest how are you going to launch a questing game when the main quest is bugged that was that that's part of the reason why i left it a not recommended you know when they get some of that stuff fixed out like, you know, Standout launched. Uh, they didn't launch into early access while their guns were still, you know, the bad aim. They waited. They fixed the aim because it's a shooting game. And if you can't shoot in the game, then why go into early access? You know, so I respect the way that they did it. <clears throat> and I'm not saying Standout's a perfect game. It's not. It's, a, it's an early access just like any other. It's got its problems. But at least, you know what I mean? They tried to take care of the meat and potatoes of the game before... And I just didn't get that experience with Orbis, and so I'm very vocal about it. Have you seen Hot Pat's crew in Standout? I, I have seen the name. I've heard the name. I've seen the name, but uh, no, no, no. I, I'm not. I'm not very familiar. Uh, uh what is that? Uh, you know what? Isn't that one of the team? You know what? I have seen it. It's a video series. Yes. Is that who you are? I, I know. I've seen it. I know. I've seen that. Maybe that's where. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have seen it. The Hot Pants Crew. As a matter of fact, I saw the uh, the trailer for it 
on the standout Discord, like the first day that it got posted, I laughed so hard. Yeah, I like it. Looks cool. Oh, I had only seen the trailer. I haven't seen anything past that. Oh, man, that is so dope. Yeah, dude, that's super dope. Now I have a face with a name. Thank you, dude. Now I have a face with a name. Yeah, I apologize, dude. It's it's me, dude. I have a terrible memory, I swear. <laughs> I'm constantly talking about it in my streams. But, uh, but yeah, dude, th that's cool. I really, 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 really liked that, dude. For real, man, legit. Look, dude, I was telling you right now that I liked it, and I could have potentially, you could have hated it. <laughs> so, I mean, I took that chance. <laughs> that you were going to complain about it, but I'm going to tell you that I like it anyways. So that's a real talk. Real talk, man. Oh, this is looking nice. This ponytail needs to be a little bit more clean, but that'll work. I put up a YouTube video of me playing with the Herbert the Pervert. <laughs> oh, I'm going to have to look into that. Yeah, I'm on like a lot of different discords, so I don't get a chance to run through all of it, but I'm going to go look for that one now. Or I think we're friends on Discord, if I'm not mistaken. If not, we should be. Definitely link me stuff. I like to see cool VR stuffs, man. I am a big fan of VR stuff. Like, if I'm not in VR, I want to be watching something VR related. You know what I mean? And most of the time, it's my own stuff because I do, I do a lot of review and I study my own techniques for things. And when I'm when I'm streaming video games, nine times out of ten, I'm looking for bugs so that I can send clips to the uh, to the developers to help them out as well. But uh, I definitely like to just see funny stuff from time to time too, and or interesting, funny, interesting, creative. Oh, I'm spinning this chick around now. Like, this came out much better than I had anticipated. You should join us sometime. Dude, I, I'll definitely check it out, dude, for sure. Yeah, you guys sound like you have a lot of fun. I like to have a lot of fun, too. You know what I mean? That sounds fun, dude. All right. Yeah, see, and look, check it out. This sculpture, okay. Guys, we're taking stock in the chat. I know it looks like an old Asian man right now. But uh, what do y'all think about this? I don't know. How long have I been running? I've been running. Wow. Two hours now. I didn't realize I'd been running that long. I apologize. My rambling gets away from me from time to time. I'm a big doctor. Some of my friends tell me, do you ever shut up? It's like, nope. But uh, yeah, anyway, you know, uh, two hours here working on this model. Originally, I had no plan. When I started up the stream today, all I know, all I knew was that I woke up this morning and I was feeling creative and I wanted to create something. You know, my first thing I created in 2018 was here a Masterpiece VR, this sculpture. I'm not a big sculptor. I don't do any Z brushing or sculpting in Blender or no clay sculpting. And, you know, I, I kind of just, like I said, when I started up the stream today, I thought I was going to do a barrel, <laughs> possibly a table, a bridge at the most. Uh, I decided to jump straight in go balls deep into some character design and uh you know this is uh, this is the end of two hours i i might call it here go get some grub but uh i don't feel like this is too bad for two hours i'm gonna go ahead and save this this was really fun i covered a lot of techniques let me make it a little bit bigger as a matter of fact let me try it. well you know what i'll take the i'll take those lines let me see it without the lines let me take the lines out Okay, got that. Now grab it. Oh, no, I didn't. I, I should have. Let me just grab it all. Yeah, let's see it without these lines here. No, I was trying to grab. Why did it not grab? Huh. Oh, maybe I have to select and then grab. Select. Uh... I got some hair and I want to leave the hair in there. Oh, I see. Okay. There 
There we go. It looks like Hanzo a little bit, doesn't it? <laughs> like if Hanzo was an old man without any... This, is, this could have been Hanzo. All right, that's cool. Add me on... Yeah, yeah, for sure, Java Bar. Uh, I, I'll add you on Steam, and if I can't find you, for I, I think I'm like the only Falibu on Steam. So definitely hit me up, dude. I use Steam a lot. Keep in touch with uh, keep in touch with my gamer friend and my VR friends, gamer friends in general too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, this is not too bad. I think I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up. This was two hours here in uh, in Masterpiece VR. Let me go ahead and save this. I'll save it as a new one, though. Uh, and I might want to export it. Let me go ahead and try to export too. Export. Do I want to? Uh, take it. Yeah, I'll take everything. Opacity twenty-five. Oh, there we go. It's a one hundred quality. One hundred percent. Export and watch watch my stream die. <laughs> oh yeah, my, uh, oh no, did it happen? No, it didn't kill my stream. I don't think this usually takes up too much resources for me. No, I think it exported. Nice, 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 nice. All right, let me go ahead and get out of here. I'm gonna go close this up from my Steam VR home. But yeah, you know, that was two hours in Masterpiece VR. You can kind of see, you know, this is where I started from. Uh, looks like an old Asian woman. Hey, at least she looks like an old Asian woman and because I was going for female. So at least it doesn't look like an old Asian man. I appreciate that. Thank you so much, Kilisol. <laughs> I'll take that back kind of compliment because I am a silver lining kind of guy. <laughs> so check it out. There was my original little female goblin chick. And this was my original elf. That wasn't too bad. It wasn't that great, but it wasn't too bad. And then y'all just saw my uh, my new one. I'll have to render that out in Blender and see what I can get done with it. But yeah, you know. You know two hours, Masterpiece VR. I'm not a big sculptor. I've never done any clay hand sculpting. I've never done any Z brushing. never done any kind of stuff like that. I don't sculpt in Blender. The majority of my 3D modeling experience is limited to, to doing uh, geometry modeling in Blender or... I do quite a bit of blocks modeling, Virgo Studio modeling, uh, tilt brush doodling, and uh, Anim VR drawing, animating and Anim VR. <clears throat> and so I think 2018 is the year that I want to start bringing all of that stuff together and making more assets for the games that I want to make, that I want to bring to life, that I want to share with you guys, even if uh, nobody else, you know, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if it's something I'll quit my day job over, but uh, if nothing else, it's something that I deeply from the bottom of my heart, I want to do just for fun, uh, for personal satisfaction, bucket list type style stuff. Uh, in my lifetime, I want to make uh, I want to make some games, even if uh, even if me and two other guys are the only ones that play it. <laughs> so with that in mind, I plan to do way more work in Masterpiece VR, Proto Studio, Tilt Brush, you know, all the all the blocks, you know strudel doodle i want to do way more design stuff this year on top of don't get me wrong i'm not going to stop like i'm a gamer to the core been doing this since i was five years old but i'm starting to get to the point at a thousand hours in vr where i feel like i know what it takes to make vr games i've learned about as much as i can learn from all the alphas and betas as far as you know the people that i uh, that i feel like were were really you know setting the the, the ground the, the the road before the rest of us here that are going to try to jump in and try it out and so, you know, hats off to those guys. I really appreciate it. I've helped uh, for the past year, you know, squash some bugs in other people's games. Now I want to try to make my own, you know, see how that goes. One hour, hot pants, and stand <laughs> oh, the <laughs> oh, that's too funny. That's too funny. Yeah, all you guys in the chat, you know, I really appreciate all the company, the great laughs, the great talks. Man, we talked about so much in these past two hours. We talked about modeling and sculpting and college and growing up and, you know, standout gaming, game designing. I'm a variety kind of guy, man. If you like this kind of stuff, definitely hit me with a like, share, subscribe. If you want to see more stuff like this, let me know down in the comments section. I, if you ever see me doing something, it's because I love doing it. You want to see more stuff like it? 
you like that kind of stuff, let me know. All right, so until next time, this has been Eddie on the Fallibu Channel. Take it easy, guys.